Hi friends, welcome to Moody Blooms. I'm Mary Ellen and today we're going to unpackage some hanging planters from Emerging Green. They sent me three cast iron hanging planters lined with cocoa core. These are 12 inches across and about six inches deep. And the chain is about 24 inches long. Let's go ahead and get these potted up. All right, so I went ahead and took off the plant hangers just for the assembly of the planter. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a well-draining cactus soil and you can buy a straight cactus soil or you can make your own. You just wanna make sure that it's a well-draining soil. Succulents do not like wet feet. Okay. So I have some cuttings and some in nursery pots. This area is beautiful, I love this one. Uh, make sure when you do take it out of the nursery pot, oh wow, that is dry, that you remove any of the dead leaves off the bottom. Those attract mealybugs, and we do not want mealybugs. Those are a nightmare to get rid of. So make sure you pull all those off. This Wow, this really needs some water too. Look how dry that is. So another thing, I like to break them up a little bit on the bottom. Okay, probably gonna add a little bit more soil on top. I also have some Gollum Jade, and these are some cuttings from a friend's bush. This is just a cutting and it's already started to root, so. Those are ready to be planted. Might use that one in the middle just because it's a little bit taller. And then I have uh, Echeveria Fred Ives. I love these. These are super easy to propagate. Want it to peek out just above the planter. And remember, keep in mind, we're gonna have some chains here. So you wanna probably, probably actually gonna move that a little further over so that the chains don't mess with the Fred Ives leaves. huge okay I take that back I'm gonna move this one over no oh my gosh Did that really just happened oh no a bunch of leaves just fell off oh well it still looks beautiful and that is the wonderful thing about succulents is that they are super resilient that's all right we'll just propagate these leaves that got a little bent Normally I would propagate leaves when they're a little bit more full after they've been watered, but you know, sometimes accidents happen and we'll just go ahead and propagate those leaves later. Okay, let's try this again. All right, I'm gonna take the jade out for now. Okay. 
So you want to gently press the soil down around the base of the succulent. get any dirt out of there and then I'm gonna go ahead and put some cuttings that I have along the edge these are nice and small and it'll be a while before they grow tall so these are perfect for the edge so you have some roots already growing on those cuttings Okay, so we're gonna add some more, kind of fill this in. That's actually much better. No, it doesn't wobble so much. So I just am setting it on a round pot that works out much better okay so I'm gonna add a few more succulents a lot of my cuttings are covered in ash we've had a lot of fires in our area recently one really bad one started yesterday so ash just covers everything we've got crazy Santa Ana winds Okay, so I grabbed a few more cuttings. Gosh, they all are covered in ash. I know this looks like mealybug, but it's it's actually just ash from the the fires. I'm gonna add some smaller cuttings around the edges. Okay, it's all potted up. I want to thank Emerging Green for the beautiful planters. Thanks so much for joining us on Moody Blooms. We hope you enjoyed making these planters with us and we'll see you next time. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit subscribe. Give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed our content and we'll see you next time on Moody Blooms.